Where am I now? I can't keep wandering in the cold and dark forever, can I? I've been walking so long. But wait. I feel like I know this place. The patch of the riverbank. Those spreading trees. Of course I know them. I can't believe this is the same place though. Where is the beauty? It used to be the most beautiful spot in the Valley of the Light. I remember this calm sun, sweet wind, flowers, bird song. Where's the magic gone? It's a story of love and death. Once upon a time, a beautiful nymph lived in the Valley of Light. Her job, according to her, was to sit on the riverbank and look beautiful. Every day saw her lazing by the river, sunbathing and practicing looking lovely. She longed for romance, of course. There was no point in looking lovely if there was no creature to love her for it. Sadly, the only companion she had was a troll. He lived in the willow tree next to the river. He was friendly but also ribald, and the nymph found him very dull and ugly. He, on the other hand, spent his time hunting and shadowing the nymph, trying to win her favor, for he had fallen in love with the beautiful nymph the first time he had seen her. creature can love life, the world and its beauty more than the one that lives in harmony with nature? Elf felt music everywhere, in the trees, grass, bugs and flowers. He had traveled all over the land of truth in search of enchanting and charming places where he could express his admiration of the world by playing on his magic pipe.
Troll, upon seeing her admiration for the elf, realized that what the nymph really wanted was romanticism and beauty. Elf brought her flowers the color of fire from the Gardens of Hope. In his opinion, the vibrant color was missing and by bringing it, he completed the beauty of the picture. How could Troll compete with that? When Nymph received the fiery flower, she felt that she was finally being treated as she deserved. The fields of despair seemed very appropriate, and so the troll wandered through them suffering. The nymph stayed in the valley of light with her beloved, content to sun and listen to the elf's flute. But the more pain the troll experienced in the fields of despair, the more light and magic left the valley. The elf was first to notice this. The Valley of Light was no longer light and beautiful. So he left the nymph to find an even more beautiful place to play his music in. Finally, the troll's heart split from the pain he felt. Magic deserted the valley. That's how the story ends. With the troll's death, the valley died. Flowers couldn't bloom, birds would not sing, and sun stopped shining here. It turned out, it was not the ethereal and vain nymph, but the love and hope of large, ugly troll was making this place glow with magic.